Heat detection, I don't know. I'm sure you could come up with a sufficiently convincing role-playing story behind it all, but... Yeah, I kind of like it. I, I'm sure they can improve the zombie AI, and like I said, I have no doubts that they will at some point implement some hideous beastie that will attack you while you're underground. I like my idea of a, a tremors worm. I think that would be bloody epic. Imagine one of those snaking into your base How at you night. Even live though, dude? This is it, this is it. I, I think it's it, you can make yourself too comfortable underground. And in this game you can't sleep, can you? So if you're playing the game, you need to be awake anyway. So it'd be kind of nice having your underground bases assaulted once in a while. And having to actually defend them. At the moment, you can just come down all evening, can't you? It's sort of, I don't know, it's not cheating, but I mean, that's why I want to build the fortress <coughs> up on top. Become a true survivor. We should add, like, some freaking sentry turrets and crap. Well, Pretty funny. it's set in, well, post-modern times, I suppose, so... All, all that stuff, you know, the technology kind of side of it, there's no reason why they couldn't start including it. Because um, one of the suggestions on the Fun Pimps forum, which I really like the sound of, um, is having electric circuits. Um, so yeah. you can actually create, you know, lockable doors, um, secure, like say, sort of security cams, all that kind of stuff, like say, sentry turrets. Um, endless possibilities, you know? No reason why you couldn't have a schematic to make a generator. You know, loot refrigerators, TVs, get wires and cabling. Possibilities. Endless. What did you just put down there a minute ago in the wall? In the what? Is that a refrigerator in the wall? Yeah, fridge, yeah. That's powered by nothing. It, it Technically, it's not working, mate. Oh. <laughs> it is just a fridge. It's not a powered fridge. It doesn't so do what's anything. What's the point of the fridge? Because it, it's, it's my is my potato farm, and it's to keep my potatoes cold, <laughs> so they don't go mouldy. <laughs> is that what it? Actually Use your imagination, Johnny. Oh, are you trying to make a better game out of this? And <laughs> no, the, the fridge is, as far as I know, don't do anything. The, the, the food, none of the food is uh, perishable, so... My deer meat is currently sitting in a wooden box upstairs and it has been for, what, 25 days? <laughs> wow, okay. I, I'm fairly sure it's still completely edible. Be nice but yeah, that would be a cool, yeah, that would be a good meat. thing, you know? You, you can't keep your meat, you know, indefinitely, you know? You've got to put it in a fridge. I'd be quite happy with that. Obviously, you'd have to power your fridge. Somehow. Yeah, you've got to have a generator. And then, see, this would be awesome. I mean, what about so you can have kind of automated, um, automated sentries and doors and safes and all that kind of stuff. But obviously, it's all going to be powered. And the zombies. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about it. What I'm saying out loud. The generator makes noise, which attracts zombies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously the zombies smash your generator, your lights go out, all your doors go down, your security doors go down. You see, you see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I should give me a job. We can make this I game. I know I'm just seeing things here, right? It's, it's just tired. <laughs> yeah, I am so tired. torches up against yep. that stone block, did it actually change shape? Did, oh, did the stone block change shape? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's awesome. Look. Uh, you see that there? Look. Watch that. There you go. Look. I've got to wait for the delay, but yeah. Yeah, you can straighten. You can actually straighten your walls out. Because if I really? take that away now, look, it should go back, but it won't fully. I shouldn't have done that. It's what I did here with the fridge. I straightened the walls up around the fridge. Oh my god. So you use that straighten the walls. Oh shit. Straighten walls do look kind of cool though. Yeah, no, no, I think the whole game looks bloody awesome. They need to sort the lighting out, because the lighting with the torches is really nice. And even with the, you know, with the torch, as in the battery, yeah. the electric torch, it's really cool. 
And then when you hold a torch, you know, it lights it all up like that. Yeah, it looks I, really I nice. See that. I, I think it could, but when you yeah. turn it off, look, the actual torches themselves aren't a source of light. They are because if I took it, if I take them down, it'll be pitch black. It's darker, but it's such a massive difference between the held lights, the held torch, and the actual torches on the wall. Yeah, well, the torches on the wall don't do more. anything. See how they're emitting light. If I take my torch away, everything stops emitting light. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Now, whether or not that's a bug or an actual coding issue that they've yet to implement, I have no idea, but... Who knows? Who knows? I still think they've got a long way to go on this. Uh, but, it's you know, it's a very serviceable game. What am I missing here? Crossbow bolts. There you go. Right, everyone. I think I'm going to call it a night. It's, what the hell is it? It's half past one. Which is actually pretty late for me, to be honest. <laughs> Not on a Friday night. I will be up late tomorrow playing the Elder Scrolls Online, but of course I can't bloody broadcast that because it's under NDA, isn't it? So, In fact, you should, I think you have to sign all sorts of stupid disclaimers and give you a bloody address and everything to the buggers. Not that you have to give them a real one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come looking for me, sucker. Oh, it's, uh, hello, mods of MC. Oh, I can't. I'm just thinking. I, I like my my idea about the generator. I think that'd be really cool. You have to go. And, yeah. Maybe you could either make a generator or scavenge the part, scavenge the parts for it, because you get things like air filters and stuff like that from the cars. Um, yeah. You can make fuel, so that's, you know, you can make gasoline already, so you've got to think that they haven't done that just so you can power an auger and a chainsaw. Make a freaking treadmill, man, just run on it for power. Yeah, we can get Ben on the treadmill. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Johnny. Nice to have a chin no wag with you, mate. as always, mate. Yeah, no worries, mate. I'll be back on tomorrow, guys. I will be streaming pretty much all day tomorrow. Um, I am indeed, Kale, yes. Up oh, very late for me. Um, but yeah, I've, I've kind of cleared my diary out tomorrow because I was hoping to play The Elder Scrolls um, until I found out it was 6 p.m. EST, which is 11 p.m. GMT. So that's gone out of the window. So I've still got the day free. So uh, I'll probably be cracking on with this, see if Ben can join us. Carry on. Get the start of this bloody fortress up in the middle of the map just over scenic overlook and uh, we'll see how we get on with it so as always my sincerest of thanks to you all for joining me tonight nice to see you all in chat and i'll see you tomorrow look after yourselves take care see you johnny see you later mate